In this video, we'll take a look at three key combinational logic components, a decoder, a demultiplexer, and a multiplexer. A four-way decoder is a component that has four outputs and two select lines. Depending upon the value of the select lines, exactly one of the outputs will be asserted to be a 1, while the others are asserted as 0. For example, if S1 and S0 are 1, 0, respectively, then output Y2 will be asserted as a 1, while the others are at 0. To build a decoder, we start with uh, signals for each of the inputs for the select lines, and add inverters so we can get the values of their complements. Then we add four AND gates that evaluate the product terms for each of the combinations of the two select lines and their complements, such that, depending upon what the values of the select line are, exactly one of the AND gates is activated. A 1 to 4 demultiplexer is a lot like a decoder, except it also has a data input, so that the data input D is routed to one of the four outputs, Y0 through Y3, depending upon the value of the two select lines. So for example, if S1 and S0 are 1, 0 respectively, then Y2 will get the value of D, while the other outputs all get a value of 0. The design of a demultiplexer is a lot like the design of a decoder, except each of the AND gates has a third input tied to the data input D. So here, for example, S1 and S0 are both 0, so we see that the AND gate tied to Y0 has two of its inputs already asserted as 1. If we change D from a 0 to 1, we see that Y0 changes to a 1, essentially that Y0 follows D. Similarly, if we change S1 to a 0, um, two of the inputs of the AND gate tied to Y2 are asserted as 1s, and as we change the value of D, the value of Y2 follows D. A multiplexer is the opposite of a demultiplexer. It has four data inputs, D0 through D3, and two select lines S1, S0, and a single output Y. Depending upon the value of the two select lines, the value of one of the data inputs will be routed to Y. So for example, if S1 and S0 are 1, 0 respectively, then the output Y will take on the value of D2. The design of a multiplexer starts with a decoder with AND gates for each of the four possible combinations of the select inputs and their complements. Next, we connect uh, the data inputs to third inputs to each of the NAND gates. In this example, we see that uh, S1 and S0 are both 0, 0, and the top AND gate is the only one that has two of its uh, inputs currently asserted as 1s. As I change the value of um, D0, we see that the uh, output of the AND gate follows the value of D0. Since the other AND gates have at most one of their uh, input lines asserted, it doesn't matter what the value of the data input is, the output will still say unasserted. Finally, we connect the outputs of the four AND gates to an OR gate so that the selected AND gate passes its output um, on to the final output of the multiplexer. So for example, if the two select lines are 0, 0, then the output of the top AND gate is passed on to the output of the multiplexer. And if we make the select lines 1, 0, then um, the value of D2 is passed on to the output of the multiplexer. We can build a router that selects one of several sources and routes it to one of several destinations by using a multiplexer and a demultiplexer together. So here we use the multiplexer to select among four different sources and a demultiplexer to select among four different destinations. So for example, if the source is 00, zero and the uh, destination is both is also um, zero. 
then if we change the value of the input to the multiplexer i0, we see that gets routed to destination 0. It doesn't matter what we do uh, with any of the other inputs, um, since only the source of um, i0 is selected. If we change the source so that s0 is a 1, um, then i1 will be the value that gets routed to destination 0. And again, it doesn't matter what we do with the other inputs. Finally, if we change the destination so that um, we have uh, s0 on the destinations of 0 and s1 is a 1, then if we change um, the value of uh, i1 on the multiplexer, that will get routed to um, destination number 2 on the demultiplexer.